Hello everyone, this is Diane. Um, I'm in my pajamas and I'm gonna do a Shein haul, S-H or Shein. I've seen it pronounced different ways. I checked and it is on Wikipedia. It's, I think it's, I think the clothes department is in China, but it's headquartered in Singapore. Um, and it's the largest retailer, re fashion retailer in the world. But they have other stuff too, as you'll see, not just fashion, well, Maybe one thing is only non-fashion, actually. But they have stuff. They have a lot of stuff. So let me just smile and make a screenshot because I sit on my camera something and the timer wouldn't go on. And I don't know. I, I might have to call Apple help for my iPhone. <laughs> so let me just take a screenshot. Okay, thanks. Because I can edit the video. Now, um... These are one of the pajamas I showed yesterday, uh, not yesterday, two or three days ago. I think I made the video three days ago, but I uploaded it. No, I can't remember when I uploaded it. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is one of the pajamas from Walmart. Um, the pajama set, I like it. And it, I haven't gone to, I haven't uh, changed into my clothes today because it's Sunday and I have nothing to do. So I'm just in my pajamas. It's like, I think it's like 1.30. So anyways, I'm doing a Shane haul. Um, most of the clothes, all of the clothes I've received from them, not only not only uh, this haul from this shipment, but other shipments, um, maybe one or two, all the clothes I've gotten are 100% polyester. And that I don't really like. I don't know, I've only gotten men's and boys. I don't know if women's clothes, I think some of them are. And, I can't wear 100% polyester like shirt. It looks like a tie-dye t-shirt, but it's polyester. I did try buying one as you'll see in this haul because it was really cute, but it's too tight. I'm not gonna return it. You, I can return it to someplace in Compton, California, which is not too far from me. And then I think they return it to China, but it was so cheap. Even the sweater was cheap. The Christmas sweater was too small. I couldn't wear it and I was skinny at the time. So their sizes are really screwed up and all the men's extra smalls I've bought fit much better, but there's very few, like when I search extra small, men's extra small, I got very few hits and I'll show you one I got, but um, um, the boys extra large, I like the clothes better and I wish they'd add more men's extra small and you know, they're located in China. I don't know if they go by you know, an extra large boy in China or here, because most China people or even um, Asian in general are much shorter than the average, uh, at least in the United States. Maybe some Hispanics are pretty short, but Caucasians and African Americans are pretty tall. So maybe they're making their clothes like for a, um, for a, 13 year old boy that's, cause their sizes are 13, 14 that I get. And they're no way a 13, 14 American. So uh, most of them. So um, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe other countries in the world they ship to cause they ship all over the world. Um, maybe some countries they ship to, the people are short and they like them or they're tiny. <laughs> if I was like five feet tall and really skinny, I might like, their boys extra large, but their men's, they're, it's called 13, 14, but their men's um, extra small fits me much better. So, oh, I was gonna show you the cap. I'll show you the bath mat. This is, I love this bath mat. I didn't know, but there were choices of colors. There was, instead of the pink, there was green, blue, and yellow, and it still had a little bit different on the edge, but I might buy it again, and it has an anti-slip mat, which I bought a bath mat that didn't. And you know, it's not real safe when you get out of the shower or the tub. So I really like this. And um, I've already used it for about a week and it's great. It's absorbent. Um, and I got the large size. This comes in two sizes. So I got the, I can't imagine one smaller than this. <laughs> so um, yeah, and they have really cute bath mat bath mats. It's S-H-E-I-N dot com. Just search bath mat or bath mats probably. And you'll see there's so many, I couldn't even go through the whole selection. Some are cutesy, some are um, not cutesy. Okay. I think I'll show you the caps next. 
Now this, you remember I bought Rosie O'Kelly and she still wears it. The light blue, light blue, white with a glittery smiley face. Well, I happened to find another company that I got a while ago. So I happened to find another company that sold similar, but the smiley is bigger. I think it's, it's not on top. I think it was higher than when I gave Rosie. So it's more on top and it is, you know, it looks a lot the same. I'm going to have to hold it close because I know you're far away, but it has the mesh, which I like. And only thing is, this is from Amazon. It was like 15 or $16. It fits pointy. Like when you put it on, it doesn't look like regular cap. So I'm going to call them and try to get a discount or I'm not going to mail it back to them. I don't feel like it, but I um, feel like going to mail it. But if they, um, one time that happened with something cheap and they just refunded me half. And they said, thanks for keeping your item. And, you know, so this was $15. I am going to call them. So if I get like seven or eight, um, you know, I'll take it. Now, these are some of the caps I got from Shein or Shane. This one is my replacement. All the caps from Shane are no more than $5. Some are three. This one is the same where it's gray in the back and gray in the front. I needed a gray cap that was cute to go with a lot of my gray shirts and pants and stuff. So I don't like the smiley as much as the other one, the yellow glitter one, but it fits right. But it's not dark enough, and I think the smiley is put on half off center. But it does fit, it looks okay, so I will wear it. And I want, I wish the smiley was darker, because like you can't see it from far away, really. The ink is so light, but I do like it. And um, I will keep it and wear it. Now, this one I love. I wish I could put it on, but I'll mess up my hair. This one is, here, I'll sit over here. This one is a distressed denim cap, and they had light denim, dark denim. I got the light. Maybe not the lightest, but it's all distressed. Even this is, it's like showing the black underneath or whatever color, but I really like it. Oh, I forgot to tell you, it also has hoops. They're like... Um, hoops on the side, which is really cool. So I like that too. So this cap was like $3, okay? Just search baseball caps or caps. Now this one I really like because the 80s was my favorite music decade and one of my favorite decades altogether, but my favorite for music. And I still listen to 80s, like a station that plays a lot of 80s music. I like New Wave and alternative from the 80s. So it does say 80s. Oh, it says 80s something else, which you can't read, which I noticed. A lot of these caps from Asia and China are say weird things. Okay, this says 80s baby, but I wish the baby was more noticeable. But I like the shine on the top. It says That says baby, and you really can't see it unless you look up close. And then right here, it says something nonsense. Kaler, C-A-Y-L-E-R, which you can see if you look closely. But I like the blue um, strap that matches kind of the blue. This is kind of like my a blue I like. I don't like royal blue that much. I don't like navy blue that much, but I wear a lot of it. Um, but this is more of the blue that I like. Oh, and the bottom is dark, is more of a royal blue. So I do like royal blue, it's just not my favorite because blue is my favorite color. That's why I like these pajamas. Blue and orange are my favorite colors, blue. Blue is my number one favorite color, but orange is my second favorite. Okay, here's more caps. Now this one I really like. Let me take my cap off. This one is light blue, tray chic. I bought a gray one like this years ago from China, but it, it's gotten like smashed and I don't wear it anymore. It was like in a box and it got smashed. Okay, um, this all these were under $5, by the way. Some were like three, some were four, close to that. So they've, and they always have deals on free shipping or $9.99 free sh minimum order for free shipping. And even if you pay shipping, it's only $3.99 if your orders, unless your orders a certain amount. but. Very inexpensive shipping, but it does take like two weeks at least to get what you order because it comes from China to Compton to me. So 
the back is white, and I like the way it has these stripes. And I prefer a flat brim cap like this. I have been wearing the you know the original type of baseball cap, but they're not my favorite. You know, with the curved, the curved um, what is this called? Flat brill, flat build. I forgot what it's called, but um, I like I don't like as much the ones that are curved. I know that's the kind most people wear, but like the gray one is curved. This one is not curved. And you know, all the other ones I got are curved except for this one. Okay, this one is, I, I think I saw this from China, but I never bought it. It says like 23 and then has like a thick, fake leather line right there. I'm sure it's not real leather. And then it has this. I think it's really cool. And then it's, what does it say in the back? I think it says legend. Let me look. I really like it. And it is flat build. Oh, the bottom is really cool. Okay, it says legend. Yes, it says legend. I like that. A lot of the ones from China that I used to order on eBay um, say things on them that don't make sense. Okay, show the, did I show this one? Well, if I didn't, yeah, I did. The tray chic. Okay, then I showed that. Okay, I've got one more to show that is a flat, I mean a curve, and it, I do like it. Um, it's black, and like when I gave Rosie, it's hers is a leopard black and kind of uh, ivory. That's how this is. So, but it's from Shein. I got hers from Amazon. And what I like, oh, I forgot to tell you, is there's glitter in here. And I don't usually wear feminine type things, but it wasn't on the picture that it had glitter. So it doesn't bother me, but the glitter is different colors. When you go like this, you see it. And it just got, it has letters on it that don't make sense. Like no words or anything. Maybe there's some words that I found. But, and the back is black. And um, the little, I like the way the little top of it is the same pattern. It's not black. It's the same pattern as this. And then there's glitter in the mesh. It's like black and glitter. So this must have meant, be meant for a woman, but it didn't say. And I didn't think it had glitter. So the glitter is noticeable if you're up close and the, it's really silver and black mesh. So it's, it appears glittery a little bit. So, and the top is, oh, I already showed that. So those are all my caps. Then I wanna show you something about Brooklyn cloth. This is a sweatshirt, I mean about, not Brooklyn cloth, about um, Sheen. Brooklyn cloth is a brand I buy. This is from Shein, the same company I'm hauling from, but I got this um, like in winter. It's a boys extra large. It says boys 13, 14, they go by ages. And I think there's 11, 12. And, but this fits me snug as a bug, okay? I don't think any American boys, at least 14 year olds can fit in this. 13 year olds before they go through puberty. I don't know, cause this is really tight on me. I'll show you. That's what I don't like about them is there's very few men's extra small, which fits me better than their boys extra large. So, or it's the biggest boy size, 13, 14. So this is kind of snug. It's a hoodie. It says Brooklyn, it says Brooklyn, 1898. So um, it doesn't mean anything to me. I've never been in Brooklyn, but I like the colors. And then the hood is red, which is really cute. And I think this is navy. I prefer black, but I wear a lot of navy. So, and a lot of red and a lot, I don't wear a lot of, yellow, but I wear some green. So I did wear it. And what I like about it is it's very lightweight. Even though it's hundred percent polyester, it doesn't have fleece inside. It has kind of like a terry, like bumpy, but it's really thin, I'll show you. And this is still available probably because they keep their stuff for a long time. Boy, this is just look under hoodies. Yeah, it's a 1314Y, which means 1314 youth. That is so snug tight on me. So, even when I weighed less, it, it was snug. Oh, did I show, oh, I showed you the distressed one. Okay, I put that down. Okay, now that is a, a boy's extra large. This is a man, men's extra small, which fits me a lot better. And I bought it in white. This is a new haul. I have it in white since the winter. And I really like it. It's white and black. I've worn it on videos. 
Oh, I forgot to tell you, boys' hoodies don't have these strings. Children's sizes, boys and girls. I think it's because um, some kids got injured. It's been a long time. I'm sure your parent, you guys, your parents and grandparents know about it, that they don't have, you know, um, drawstrings around the hood. They probably got choked or something, but that's been for a long time. So I'm sure most of you who have a kid in your life or whatever have known that. So this fits me perfect. I'm not going to try it on because you guys have seen me in the white one. But um, this is a men's extra small. I got it because the men's um, extra small white fit me. White with black. And it says fun. And it has a face. It has a face. A weird face. And that's it. And white string. So I haven't, of course, worn this. But I've tried it on. And it's not too warm. This one is fleece. Yeah, this one's fleece. So, oh, I didn't show you the inside of the other one. That's not fleece. Maybe you can tell. It's not fleece. This boy's extra large one. The colorful one. Um, this one is a men's extra small. And it fits me. And I like it. I did a search for men's extra small. And I got things. See, it has drawstrings. That's how you know it's not a boy's. And it has something right here, which is really cool. But I've never, I don't know if I'll be able to wear this because it's 100% polyester. And I might be too hot in it. But, and here's the inside. It's not, it doesn't have fleece. It's real thin, you know, thin. It's real heavy, but it does not have fleece. But since it's 100% polyester, um, it has to be really cold for me to wear something like this, I think. I didn't realize how warm it would be. <laughs> okay, what have I not shown you? I'll put this over here. Okay, so that green one was from the haul, new haul, that green hoodie. And the light blue one was. I don't like usually um, regular hoodies that don't zip either this much or all the way because I get too hot in them. So it has to be really cold for me to wear something like that. Even if it's standard American, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. To wear those inside, no. I can wear them over a t-shirt that I wear inside, but I get too hot inside. <laughs> I'm like very warm blooded. Like at my job, my last job at the phone company, at and I would be they would be freezing and I would be just right. Like a lot of my employees will say, can you turn off the, on the heat, you know, to the managers or whatever. Some of them even had portable heaters on their desk. I had a fan. <laughs> Some had fans. And I had a good boom box because we were allowed to listen to music. But yeah, I'm always um, warm-blooded. Like it takes me a lot to be really, to be cold. A lot of cold. Okay, I want to show you. Um, okay, I'll show you that. I haven't tried these on yet, I'll be honest with you, but these are boys, boys 13, 14 youth. Why? You can see that. And they're too thin. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them. They say they have a fish, which I don't like because I'm a vegetarian and it has the, boat, the meat taken off of it. But um, um, it has a cute drawstring pattern. All their clothes are cute mostly. Most of them are nice, but they're like this, 100% polyester. I bought these with this with this haul, and unfortunately, I wanted white pants. These are really um, see-through. I can see my hand. So, uh, you know, I don't want my underpants to show through, really. And I, I do wear white underpants and colored underpants. I wear women's underpants, believe it or not, even though all my clothes and pajamas and shoes and even socks are boys. I do wear women's underwear. So I've never given that up. And I buy the boy shorts or the boy boy cut and Hanes makes them in a bag. Those are the cheap ones. And my preference is Champion. They're like, a, they're like between nine and $13 on Amazon, depending on if it comes from Amazon or from a private seller. But um, yeah, I have a lot of colors and there's some new colors I want like a, that weren't there before, like a charcoal gray heather and a um, black, jet black. I only have navy. So I wanna order them, but they're like $12, you know? It's like, 
No, for underpants, I can just buy a bag of Hanes like I've been doing my whole life. And since I've been, I don't know with my parents, but since I was a teenager, I've been buying underwear in bags and they're 100% cotton and they're really comfortable. And most of the champion ones, except the sexy nylon see-through ones I have, <laughs> um, they're kind of sexy uh, and white. I have them in white. They are stretch and they are not 100% cotton because they're, I don't know how much polyester, but if you want to see, look up champion panties on Amazon and look for the boy cut. So, or the boy short. So, um, yeah, these are really see-through. I could wear women's nude underpants, which they do make. I might have to get some. I had them many, you know, years and years, but um, you know the beige ones that are like, well, at least they're like my skin tone and it makes it so, you know, you can wear white with them. Um, I'm gonna have to buy those with these. And let me see how the pockets are. Small pockets. A lot of boys pants have small pockets and I don't know why because a boy of 13 14 even Chinese or whatever is gonna have a cell phone and my cell phone falls out all the time of some of my boys pants never my men's pants okay and then I got another pair of pants that are also 100% polyester I love the jogger pants but these aren't joggers but I love the drawstring most and all the joggers I have are and these are cargo these are different they have let me just have to get close they have a pocket right here oh I can put my phone in there maybe if the pockets aren't deep <laughs> and it has one on the side I, I don't have anything this color really but these are a th oh they're small okay can't put my cell phone in there so yeah, that's what I don't like about pajamas for boys is they don't have pockets, none of them that I've seen. Men's always do, like their sleep shorts, and um, or usually do. And I can't, you know, in the morning, I like to carry my phone around with me in the kitchen. I just put it in my pocket. So my men's ones all have pockets, most of them at least. So there's the pants. Then I want to show you one of their small that I had before. 13, 14 youth. Okay. I thought I'd give them another try on tie-dye. Now this is real tie-dye. I looked behind, which is really pretty. I looked behind and see it's it's the pattern of the tie-dye. The fake tie-dye is white, usually on the back. It's just a print, but it looks tie-dye. So I really like this, but it's way too small. And it says Los Angeles here. And this is a 13, 14 youth. So... Their tie-dyes are great, and they do make one in men's, but I don't think it comes in extra small. It says unisex. So men's, women's, it says, are unisex. So I might buy one because that is just too small. Even if I lose weight, I think it'll be too small. Now, this is another top. I'm opening it for the first time. Oh, nice. It has this. See, it says Shine Kids. And this is a boys 13, 14. And I really like the color and it's not a tie dye. So I, it was probably like $6. So I figured I'd take a chance with it because I really, I like stripes that go like this, not, you know, stripes that go up and down because stripes that go like this, a lot of people don't wear them because they do make you look fat. And I do have a bit of a belly because I'm on the high end of normal weight. I'm very close to overweight. So I don't want something, um, you know, really tight or, Whatever, but these are pajamas. No, this isn't a pajama. I did get pajamas. Oh, oh, it has a palm tree, even better. Palm trees. But I love the colors. I just adore the colors. So that's why I got it. And it does look bigger holding it up than the tie-dye one. So hopefully it'll fit. And I got this one. These are so cheap that it's worth it to me if they don't fit. I'll just donate them or lose weight. <laughs> so, because I was 126 and I'm 134 now, so I've gained eight pounds. I was 126 like three months ago. All right. This is 1314yshane.com. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see. So this is, oh, this is big enough. Yay. This is... A fake tie-dye. See, it's white inside, 
but it looks tie-dye. A lot of prints now, There's at least with children, it's very popular to have fake tie-dye. I love the colors, as you can see. Oh, just a print. But when they do a print, they can make it look real good. That's one reason I got this too, is I could tell it was a print, not a real tie-dye. So I got that. Now here's some pajamas I got. And what I really like about one of them is that it says they glow in the dark. So. Oh, I did order two ta tapestries and a warm um, hat to wear in the winter. You know, a cap. You know, what do you call them? Snow hats or whatever. But um, the it says these the boys' clothes, a lot of them glow in the dark. I think mostly the pajamas do. So I believe these do. So they've got rockets, a planet, a moon, stars, planet. And it's got a green. So these are pajamas. I could wear them just as a top if it fits good. <laughs> kind of loud with the green, with the bright green. But like I said, they glow in the dark. It glows in the dark. I'm sure children get a kick out of that. I'll get a kick out of it too. <laughs> I've had glow in the dark things in my life. So there we go. Short, the shorts match. And I like when the shorts and top match. Like these pajamas, it's, it's, they're together and it has the blue of this, but they're not like the same print. Like I would rather have it be this print, the top. So that's these. Let me show you how they look together. If I can do that. Well, I can't really do that. Okay. So we've got those. And here's another set of pajamas. I saved this to do a haul. I haven't opened some of them. So this looks tie-dye. I kind of didn't want to get it because, well, I have a lot of tie-dye shirts that aren't from Shein, from like Tommy Hilfinger. Fake tie-dye. Oh, this is fake tie-dye. Good. I like fake tie-dye. Okay, this looks big enough. I think maybe that one shirt is just too small, size small, by accident. So this is the top of the pajamas, and everything's 100% polyester, like I said, but boys sleep, children's sleepwear is, if it's loose, like this is, it, it has to be 100% polyester. If they're tight, like the ones the Disney store had before, I don't know if they still have them, those have cotton in them, but they're snug. They fit like, I don't want anything snug because I have a belly right now. Oops. Okay, and these are the matching shorts. Oh, keep away from fire. These are the boy, you know, boys. They're boys. Shane, 13, 14, 13 wide to 14 wide. These might fit me. They think they will. They're really cheap. Everything is like, God, I think these were under $6 or under $7. So, um, oh, what's this? We enclosed a fancy accessory for this garment in order to make it special. Look at this in the bag. It is not a toy. It must be used with under parent supervision. We advise to remove it before washing. What is it? Is it a handkerchief? I don't know what this is. My other tops never had this. Oh, I think I saw that it came with the sleep mask. I don't know why the other one didn't. It comes with the sleep mask, which is really cute, especially for kids because they probably don't have one. I don't have one. I don't need one. But, yeah, that's kind of cute. It's, tie it's fake tie-dye. It has the colors of the pajamas. That's really cute. And then I got, last but not least, I got a messenger bag. Now I use uh, unisex messenger bags. They even say men, women, unisex. Um, that's what I carry now. I wish I had it here, I'd show you, but I don't wanna leave the camera. But um, I wear it on my shoulder. I don't wear it crossbody, but you can wear it crossbody. And it has to be big enough to hold my selfie stick because I never know when I'm gonna make a video. And, um, I got the measurement of this one. It might be this a little bit bigger, but 
um, yeah, it did say unisex just like it does on Amazon. So messenger bag and they really look like purses a little bit. This one doesn't really, but it says on it fashion. Okay, that's kind of feminine. So, and it's fake leather, which I wouldn't get it if it was real leather. This was dirt cheap, like $8 or less fashion. I figure if I get a bag, I don't really have to worry about it fitting me. So it's got one fashion here, both sides, and it's got two here, and I can't read what that one says. Maybe I'll hold it up to the camera. I'll read it. <laughs> I have to put on my reading glasses. Let's see. MJ22801, apostrophe 1031. Fashion registration GW57. So it says fashion registration. So it's really nice. Um, it's got a zipper down here, zipper here. Oh, I don't know. No, it's not to hold your water bottle, water bottle, but it has handles and it has a strap, shoulder strap inside. But my other bag, this is kind of masculine, I guess, with this, it's kind of like more like a backpack with the handles, but I don't know, women's purses. I used to use a woman's purse not too long ago. So anyways, the inside is huge. It'll fit my selfie stick. It's long enough. Get my wallet, my sunglasses, my reading glasses. Oh, it's got it's got a zip right here and a zip here. I really like it. I'm I'm happy. My my other one is getting old, but I have one to replace it now. So I won't have to go like crazy looking on Amazon for one that's not too big, but because I've ordered them where they're too big, even though I thought they weren't. <laughs> So I have to, I measured mine. I think this is a little longer, higher. Um, and um, yeah, mine is more feminine looking than masculine, the one I've been using, but I want to show it to you now. Anyways, uh, I'm trying to wake up early enough to do a laundry video in my laundry room. Like I, I think I mentioned it, but um, my laundry room, people start doing it usually, at least in my old building. I don't usually do it in the morning, I do the afternoon, but people start doing it in the morning like 6.30, 7. So, you know, there's 40 units here. There, some have kids, there's two bedrooms here and one bedrooms. Some have little kids and, you know, so there's a lot of laundry for people to do. And we do have three machines and four washers, but last time I was in there, it was about seven when I was making that video for you guys. Uh, like over a month ago or whatever, I can't remember, but um, it was a real short video because uh, a neighbor came in. A neighbor I didn't know, but she ended up being really nice after I closed the camera. Really nice, I think she's Middle Eastern, really nice. And she told me that the busybody in the building moved and I knew it. He didn't tell me, but I know, I'm so glad. She goes, so am I. I go, I hated that guy. And she goes, so did it, so did I. And. He would like keep a screen door open and like on the way to the mailbox, I'd pass the screen door, his couch was right there. And then on the way back from the mailbox to my apartment, he'd come out like before, like he knew I was gonna walk by again. He was really weird and he'd start a conversation and a couple times I had him in the laundry room and he, he was going on and I was like, get me out of there. And I told that lady that he was once in the laundry room with me and she said, um, oh, poor you. <laughs> So anyways, we're both glad and we don't know. He was like in his late sixties, I think, cause he told me around COVID when seniors could get in like an hour early at, at supermarkets, he told me he's 66 and that was, so he's probably like 69 now or maybe 70 because he said, um, you know, three or three and a half years ago that um, because he was over 65, he could, he was, he said he was 66 he could go to the market during the hour where I think it was like to be safe, less people, or I don't know, but um, yeah, he got in, he was happy because, oh yeah, they saved it for the seniors and I think everybody else went and everybody knows how crowded supermarkets were, so during COVID, at least I do. So um, anyways, uh, 
Thanks for watching. I'm glad COVID is over, but I heard there's another bi bivalent, um, I think it's how you say it, um, vaccine, the one we took last time, but there's another one that they want seniors to get, like over 65, so I gotta tell my mom. She, her health insurance, her medical insurance, or someone will inform her, a doctor, whatever, um, but I want her to get boosted again, and I will get boosted as long as I'm sure they're gonna offer it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna offer it to younger people, so, yeah, I get all the boosters. I've never not missed a booster. I got both vaccine and both, I think there were two boosters or three boosters, I can't remember. Um, anyways, take care, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do another screenshot, just in case that one doesn't come out because like I said, I couldn't use my camera. It was on a weird mode. How long is this video? I think it's very long. 35 minutes, okay. I'll try to upload it now, it's Sunday. Um, it's probably okay to upload, but when I upload, like in the early evening, it goes for slow, it goes slow, 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 and I check it by like 8.30 or nine. If it still hasn't uploaded, I delete the upload, and I do it in the morning, so. This might come out Monday morning. So thanks for watching, every everybody, and uh, yeah, I'll still buy by Shannon. I'll buy caps bath mats, and if I can find men's extra smalls, um, I will do it. This is a boy's 13, 14, it fits me. So I haven't tried on the pants. This is from a previous, previous uh, time. But anyways, have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.